Vital is not the best free synth. It's actually one of the best synths that also happens to be free, and there's a huge difference on that. Today we're going to look at one of my favorite synthesizers, which got updated recently and now has some amazing new features. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and also give this video a like. Now, without further ado, let's go! If you don't know what Vital is, you have been living under a rock. Vital is a wavetable synthesizer with a lot of spectral morphing effects and also wave morphing effects. Some people compare it to Serum, but it's actually its own unique stuff. It has three different oscillators, a sample oscillator too, two filters, a lot of envelopes, a lot of LFOs, random modulations, and a lot of effects. Not only that, you can modulate almost everything that is on the interface, even things in the advanced tab. Not only that, for me, it has a really amazing way of visualizing everything, so for me, it's also a great synthesizer to learn about synthesis, but it's also really advanced and you can get amazing sounds just with a couple of modifications. The only limitation that the free version has is that you don't have too much presets to choose and you are limited to just five text to wavetable instances per day. Skull Rabbit Studios, the Marwaks. But the amazing thing is that this has an amazing community and an amazing developer. So if you join the Discord or follow some social media and even on YouTube, you can get amazing preset packs for free, amazing support and also amazing tutorials. By the way, you can download my preset pack with the link on the description. Now, one of the perks of buying Vital or subscribing to it is that you get early access to some features. So Vital 1.5 is not something new for Vital, but it's new for the free user community. And that's why I wanted to talk about it today. The new features are a bit more advanced, but they are amazing for sound design. And they basically are new spectral morph effects that are right here. For example, now we have random amplitude that, well, it gives random amplitudes to any wave. For example, this, believe it or not, is the same softwood wave. <laughs> We also now have data compress, but the most amazing things that have come now are these spectral effects that affect the sound in different ways. So let's check the spectral filter. If you choose one of these filters, you have this little pencil right here where you can edit, well, the filter. And it's literally that, it's a filter. So if we do something like this, take this part as the spectrum, here is 20 kilohertz or more, here is 20 hertz or less, and it's really similar to something like this that is the purple part is what you can hear and what is on the black part is what you are omitting so this is pretty much the same as this this is a low pass filter and you can check it by doing this the difference is that we don't have the visual cue like this but we are doing almost the same movement from 20 kilohertz to 20 hertz 20 kilohertz, 20 hertz. But the advanced thing and the interesting thing is that you can do any shape you want and that's why the presets are the same presets as the LFOs, giving you advanced filter shapes. <laughs> you can have now things as steep as this, so you get that additive effect too. Thank you. 
But for this video, let's keep it simple. Let's use the saw down, which is a low pass filter and start tweaking some stuff. And also to show you how this works, let me change to this spectrum, which is pretty similar to a spectrum analyzer. You have here the high frequencies, here the low frequencies. And if we lower this, you will see that we are going to make a low pass filter with a shape similar to this. Now, one interesting thing is that with this, you can make the shape steeper or less steep. But again, the interesting thing is that you can do something crazy like this. For example, we still have a low pass filter. Let's put a bit of this so we have sound. And now let's add another bump, maybe right here. And as you can see, we still have a similar shape. We have this low pass that is the same as this. And then we have this other ramp, which is the same as this. And we don't have sound in between. And with this, we can also change the shape. As I said, we can make it steeper or less steep. <laughs> But it's not actually like that that it works. This second bump will get steeper, but this other bump will get less steep. You have to get familiar with this by using it. Now the flanger and the phaser do something similar to the filter, but check this spectrum analyzer and check the figures that repeat. You can almost see that we repeat the first bump and the second like triangle bump, triangle, bump, triangle, and so on, with the phaser is even more noticeable. And thanks to this repetition, you get different effects. But as you can see, it's like a repetition of the filter. So of course, the idea is that you experiment with crazy shapes and you make interesting filters to get different results. <laughs> And this opens up, again, a lot of possibilities for sound design to get different textures that you will not be able to get by using, well, a regular filter or phaser and flanger effects. It's not the same, this is a filter, flanger and phaser that affect the waveform or, in reality, affect the spectrum in a specific way, giving you these crazy results. Again, this is something a bit more advanced for sound design, but still it's easy to experiment with. It's hard to not get something crazy, something interesting, new textures for your sounds. So if you are not as advanced, don't be afraid, just experiment with this, and I'm sure you'll get a lot of fun getting to know these new vital modes. If you like this video, again, please subscribe to the channel and also give this video a like and comment down below if you really think that Vital is one of the best synthesizers out there, or if it's just me. I will see you again next time. Thank you a lot for watching. Bye bye.